Hey everybody, so I am starting a series where I go and answer any digital marketing questions you might have. So I found this one from Dennis. He says, I'm trying to set up the seven day retargeting audiences in Facebook. He has the fear theory down, but he's getting confused with the actual setup inside audience creator. So today I'm gonna teach you how to set up retargeting audiences and also exclude people who purchased from your website. So the first thing you wanna do is go into your Facebook Business Manager account, and then you want to go to your shortcuts audiences. And one thing to note is that this is the new Facebook layout as of March, 2020. So you might have an old layout. And in that case, you go to um, this top bar here, if you're in business manager, and then if you don't see audiences in your dropdown, click see all or something like that. I think that's what it's called. And then a menu pops out the side here and audiences will show up in your me big menu here. So without further ado, let's actually create our audience. By default, you get a list of all the audiences that you've created in the past. And if you don't have one, I think it's just blank. So in this case, we wanna capture and market to the people who were on our website. So you wanna create a custom audience, not a lookalike audience, because lookalike is people who look like the audience of your website visitors. So they have similar characteristics, for example, whereas your actual website visitors is a custom audience. So we'll click website here, and then you want to include people who meet, you can say any or all, and if you're ever in doubt of what something means, these little information tabs or tool tips are great. Um, in this case, it's where it's just a really simple thing. We wanna see all our website visitors, and you can, target people who, for example, visited specific pages that include, in this case, I'm, it's a furniture retailer, so maybe the URL contains sofa or sectional, in which case anyone who visited a sofa or sectional page or a page that contains that in the URL would then see the specific ad that I'm about to give them. So now, this question was just all website visitors. And again, it's maximum time. This tool tip is really helpful. Maximum 180 days. This person wanted to do seven. So Dennis, there's your seven. And then, so if you leave your audience at that, you're going to target all the people who Facebook knows was on your website in the past seven days. But probably, you want to exclude the people who have already purchased something from you or who already are, if you're doing a site that has leads, who are already a, one of your leads. So you, you don't wanna to market to those people because why waste your money and why uh, bother them trying to resell something? So you go to exclude people and then you can say, all right, so now you are using your events that you set up in Facebook events and you are removing people who purchased. And if you don't have a purchase event set up, then you won't be able to take those people out of your audience. So another way you can do this is um, so you can go ahead and create a second audience. Say for example, you have an Excel spreadsheet with all of your customers or your leads who you wanna take out of the list. You would then go into create audience, custom audience, and then upload a customer list. In, and you just follow these directions. If it's a CSV or something, it should be super easy because it's just, you know, you probably have a column called email and then you, you know, match these columns. They don't have to, you don't have to include all of your identifiers, but the more you have, the better, because Facebook I hear is, is matching about 71% of people who are uploaded. 
Um, so, you know, the more you have, the more the, the higher the match will be. So website, people who are website visitors in the last seven days, and then you exclude people who purchased in the past, and then it's whatever days you wanna do. From a strategic perspective, I look at what is the reorder time that is appropriate for retargeting people. So in the case of sofas, I might go all the way up to this 180 because very few people buy more than one sofa in a year or 180 days. If I'm looking at razor blades, you know, I might do purchased in the last 30 days or something like that, right? Because in that case, you're getting people who purchased, but not recently. You know, maybe they're up for a razor blade refill. Uh, so then the last step here is you name your audience, and that's just a Chrome uh, pre-fill. And so in this case, the more descriptive you are, the better, because you, as you can see, I have this big long list of all of these people. And the more you get into marketing, the more audiences you test, the longer that scroll bar is. So I'll say last seven or website visitors last or uh, seven days and then excluding, oops, sorry, excluding purchase. And I'm just, for my case, I'm gonna say 180 days. Purchase 180 days. And Oh yeah, so you run into that character count. Um, 180 perch or something like that. Um, site visitor, seven days purchase. All right, and then you can add a description below. You have another 100 characters to talk about, you know, removing everyone who purchased in the last 180 days but uh so and i might call this you know hot retargeting audience right because they came in the last 30 days and you can combine or exclude on multiple events so maybe you want to exclude all the people who purchased and initiated a checkout or um, you want to include people who visited in the last 77 days and also did something else. So just play around with those parameters. The more audiences you're able to test, the better. Um, but for really basic purposes, you start off with this audience, see how it performs, and you should be good to go. So the last step you have is to create your audience. And it sometimes takes a little bit of time you can go ahead and um, you'll then be able to use your audience in, in an ad. So then you would go back to, um, you know, I, I don't like to create ads directly from my audiences. I don't know why I think that it's just easier to start a brand new campaign or click into your existing campaign, start over. I'm just gonna do, you know, a quick, conversions and let's just call this um i don't know buy sofas i don't i'm just you know and i usually turn on cbo daily budget let's call it 20 and then i'm just going to show you how you can add this audience so you go to use save audience and then here you see why it's so important to have the your audience name really clear um, because then you know when you're in the drop down you want to have it be really easy so you would use your saved audience and then you would go from there um, one thing to note is oh wait it's site it might still be populating ah okay so that's an old site visitors one um, one thing to note is um, that now, let's see, you can also, if you want, you can do, you can create that audience right there. So create new custom audience, website. So you would just go through the same steps. 
I just like to do it in two separate steps so that my mindset is really clear. I'm focused down the audience or the ads, and then I link the two together. But either way works, you're good to go, and I hope that's helpful. All right, thanks. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm happy to help you with anything digital marketing. I would love to, you know, challenge me, whatever. So thank you. I hope that was useful, and I'll see you soon.